appetite for commercial real estate come back as much as that for residential housing? Uh, good morning, Rhonda. Yes. Uh, in fact, Brookfield's clients are increasing their allocation to real estate. We find ourselves in a low interest rate environment, and real estate offers the benefits that really are uh, quite advantageous in today's market. So we're seeing good opportunities, and we're seeing our clients increase their allocations to real assets. So where are the opportunities then? Well, uh, really it's across the board. Brookfield is a global asset manager focused on real assets. We invest in four things, real estate, infrastructure, renewable power, and private equity related to those businesses. But speaking of real estate specifically, we have over $110 billion of assets invested. And we're really a contrarian investor. We like to look where others are not. So today we're looking extensively in Europe. We have been for several years. It's been a little slower to develop there than we might have thought, but we're seeing good opportunities. We recently bought a platform of industrial, uh, an industrial developer in Europe, and we're quite excited about the opportunities. Also in the emerging markets, if you think about it today, there are a lot of people fleeing emerging markets because of the currency issues and interest rates and rising inflation. We see that as a sign of good opportunity, so we're looking extensively in the emerging markets. You mentioned the low interest rate environment. Obviously, mortgage rates have ticked up, even though they're at historic lows. Has the financing puzzle changed at all? Well, I think capital is coming back to real estate, and it continues to come back. So rates have ticked up, as you pointed out, particularly in the last month or so, but they're still at historically low levels. So from a real estate point of view, capital is uh, you know, quite plentiful and quite uh, affordable given um, historic standards. In an ideal world, if you could smooth out all the returns, what should investors in commercial real estate expect in terms of annual returns? Well, I think most uh, institutional investors are looking for high single-digit returns in their what we'd call core real estate. We like to look a little more opportunistically than that. And over a long period of time, we've generated an excess of 12% for our clients at Brookfield. So I think anywhere between high single digits to low double digits is kind of the return target.